Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing the newest addition to the Glowish by Huda Beauty family. This is her Bright Light Sheer Concealer. It retails for 27 US dollars and you can find it in 15 different shades. I grabbed the shade 05 medium to test out today. As far as the details for this concealer, it's meant to look natural on the skin. It's going to be very hydrating. It's going to last for up to eight hours. It's meant to be crease proof as well as transparent transfer proof. So we'll see about that. I'm really excited to test it out and see just how well this wears underneath the eyes. I'm going into it knowing that we're not going to get full coverage out of this, not even maybe medium, light medium, because you can build this up a little bit, but I don't want to build it up too much. Um, however, I am going to be using it alongside my new Natasha Denona corrector. So on one side, I'll use both products and on the other, I'll use just the concealer to see how long it lasts, how it wears and what kind of, you know, natural coverage we are able to achieve. I'm pairing it with this one in particular because this Natasha Denona concealer is, it has a matte luminous finish. So it is going to be a little bit of a drier barrier in between my skin and the concealer, but that's okay because this is supposed to be a hydrating concealer. Whenever I have hydrating concealers, I don't like pairing them with my tried and true Smashbox Becca corrector or my Beauty Pie corrector. I like those for more matte concealers. Since this is meant to be hydrating, I want to pair this with, you know, a, a flexible matte corrector underneath. Let's see what it does. You can apply this concealer with either your finger or a brush. I'm going to use my finger for a more natural look. Um, but before that, I'm going to go in with my Natasha Denona corrector over here on the right side. All right, so there is the corrector. Now, since I am going to be using a powder foundation for today, I'm going straight into the bright light concealer and this is what the shade medium looks like now looking at it i'm like mm, did i go with the right shade i don't know that is the shade medium it matches my complexion pretty well but i wonder if this is going to be a little bit too deep for the under eye area so the way that she demonstrates applying it is by doing three dots she does that so we're just going to use a ring finger to spread it around. I typically don't love using my ring finger when applying any concealers underneath the eyes because I feel like I always get left with like stamp marks from my finger, but this one is blending out really nicely. Just gotta fix the top here. I accidentally stamped my lid with my finger. That's all right. <laughs> all right, super hydrating. Um, and yes, a very natural look underneath the eyes. Very, very natural finish. Now let's move over to the right side, the side that I am not going to be color correcting for the day and do the same thing. So just here, here, and here. All right, and there it is. You know, I love it by itself. Very light, very natural looking. It did lessen, like it, it toned down the under eye darkness without completely concealing it, which is why it looks so nice and light and natural, really. Um, I am curious what building it up a little bit would look like, so we are going to do that. And I think I'm gonna do it on both sides just a little bit i'm not i'm not looking to add way way too much underneath the eyes i just want to see what it looks like built up so i'm just keeping it down here you know it added a little bit of coverage but nothing too significant now let's do this side Yeah, so it doesn't really add a whole lot more as far as coverage. It stayed pretty much the same, wouldn't you guys say? 
I mean, at least that's what it looked like to me. And it does feel very comfortable underneath the eyes. It feels like an eye cream or like an eye serum. Just very, very hydrating. All right, so there it is. Now, before I decide whether or not I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna apply foundation onto the entire face and that'll give me enough time to see whether or not it is settling into fine lines because if it is, then I might wanna set it just very, very lightly. Um, I hope I don't have to though because it, it does look really good. It looks really nice underneath the eyes. This would be awesome for someone who's looking for something a little bit more hydrating. Um, maybe not as much coverage, but a bit more hydrating for like an everyday. Uh, anyway, let me just jump off camera, apply foundation, and I'll be right back. All right, foundation is done. It did not settle, like at all. Not that I can see. Uh, I guess very, very little, like right, right underneath the eye, but like not a noticeable amount whatsoever. Um, I am tempted though to set it just a little bit like right here and right here just to minimize the shininess. Um, I love that it is hydrating and radiant, but I feel like it just really calls out my hollows. You know what I mean? So don't love that, but that's with any radiant concealer, really any radiant product, like that's what you're going to get. Um, and I'm, I'm like barely, barely anything on this little powder puff. And of course I'm using my Oma Beauty Trip and Smooth Setting Powder in the shade Light. So just like, tapping it just to get rid of like the shininess right along the hollow like that like nothing i i really don't want to apply anything on top of this because it does look very nice minimal and light so again just right here to lessen the light reflecting off of my hollows okay we are ready for a close-up let me zoom you in all right, here we are up close. This is what the under eye area currently looks like. I love it. It looks super nice, super light. Of course, we're not getting full coverage, medium cover, anywhere near that, but it did lighten up the under eye area and it still looks really nice, light, hydrated, and natural. All right, so I'm gonna jump off camera one last time, finish the rest of my makeup for the day, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Makeup is ready to go for the day. It is currently 10.17 in the morning. You guys know the drill. I'll be back in a few hours for my midday check-in under natural lighting. So far, I really, even though we're not concealing much, right? I love the way that this looks underneath the eyes just simply because it does help to brighten the under eye area and it all looks and feels very, very minimal, very, very nice and light. Um, and if this is how it wears all day, then, you know, but we'll see, we'll see how it wears all day. But as of right now, I really love the way that it looks and I love the way that it feels. Um, so let's wear it and see how it goes throughout the entire day. So I will see you back in about like four hours or so, um, for a quick midday check-in. All right, I'm back for a quick midday check-in. It is 2.08, so I've had this on for, I want to say, almost four hours or something like that. This is what the NRI area currently looks like. Um, still looks pretty similar to the way that it did earlier. That's a lash. Don't pay attention to that. That's a little bit of mascara. Don't pay attention to that. Um, this is the side that was concealed with the corrector, and this is the side with only the concealer. It still looks very very nice and light and like skin. I mean, look at this. It doesn't look like I'm wearing much at all, but it is brightening. It is help. It is helping to brighten underneath the eyes. And this is the situation over here with the corrector underneath. They're wearing exactly the same as far as like how they look. The amount of coverage, of course, it's a little bit higher over here than it is over here, but they look the same on top of the skin. So I'm still really pleased with it. It's a very light, like no makeup makeup day for me because I also use the glowish, like the pressed powder. Um, and that's why you see like my bare skin really, really shining through today, which is totally fine. I love it. It looks, feels, everything very, very nice and light. So I'll continue to wear it for another four hours or so to give it a full day before calling it done. So I will see you back here in a few more hours for my final check-in of the day. All right, I am back for my final check-in of the day. It is currently, let me just clear all of my notifications here, 8.03. 
8.03 in the evening. I have put this concealer, this whole face of makeup actually, I've put it through the ringer. Okay. I was outside for what seemed like an eternity um, in 85 degree weather, but it felt like 90 degree weather with 60 two, three something crazy percent humidity. So I was sweating. I was in the sun. I was watching my son play soccer. It was awesome. But this makeup, like the under eyes have been through it. Okay. They've been through it and I have, I have some thoughts, but before I share those, let me zoom you guys in one last time so that you can get a close look underneath the eyes after an entire day of wear. All right, so here's the under eye area up close and personal. All that I ask is that you ignore this patch of concealer slash foundation that's missing. It's right where the pads of my sunglasses sit and it just, it always seems to happen. Does it happen to you guys? It always happens to me. Anyway, this is what the under eye area currently looks like. This is the side with the color corrector underneath it. And this is the side without. So there you have it. I am... I mean, I'm blown away. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. I mean, it is a light coverage concealer, but I think that with the right corrector, we can get it to a, a pretty high coverage point, like, you know, high, medium, medium, just depending on who you are. But look at how it wears. It wears so nicely all day long, even though I only, you know, I barely set this concealer and it was delivering or is delivering, you know, somewhat minimal coverage, it still managed to stay onto my skin. Like it stayed on. Okay. Like I said, it was hot. It was humid. I was pretty sure that the under eye area was going to look it like it was going to look like I had put it through a lot because I did. And it doesn't, it doesn't look like that at all. At least not in my opinion. If you have a dry under eyes and you don't mind, like, you know, like I said, medium to light medium coverage, check this one out because it is amazing. It dries down to where it feels very nice and hydrating, kind of like a an eye cream, honestly, or like a moisturizer of some sort around the eyes, a serum. It just dries down to something that's very, very comfortable. It delivers really a really nice amount of coverage, even though it's not full or anywhere near full. This would be ideal for like an everyday wear. I will absolutely be... Um, grabbing this on a regular basis because it does leave the under eyes looking and feeling really good. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't crease up. It did settle into my fine lines very little, but considering the amount of product that I use, it did not settle a lot. Like I kind of was expecting for it to, but it did not. It stayed in place. It did not wear off. That's like the thing that's kind of blowing my mind the most is that it stayed in place and it stayed all day. And I put it through a lot. So overall, good job, Huda Beauty. Yes. She's just been coming out with killer products. The Glowish line is some of my most favorite, like no makeup makeup products. They're some of my most favorite no makeup makeup products. I love using it because of how beautiful your skin still looks and how much like you, you still feel. Because let's face it, I, I love glam. I love a full base of glam. And when I put on glam, I just feel like a different person for obvious reasons. I have full coverage on. Everything looks very nice and smooth and concealed. This line doesn't do that, but it still enhances like your natural beauty and it allows for everything to just be the way that it is just a little bit, a little bit enhanced. And I love that. I appreciate that. It looks good. It lasts all day. I just, I really like it. Honestly, like I, I hate, I, I don't want to lie because when I went into this, I was kind of like, mm, this is going to be not that great. I mean, sheer coverage really. Um, but I like it. I really, really like it. Like I said, if you're looking for something that's not full coverage, hydrating, it's going to last and it's not going to look cakey. It's going to look like your second, like second skin. This, this, check this out. Okay. Highly, highly recommend. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.